Dave Meltzer has speculated what would have happened had Smoky Mountain Wrestling hung around for another year when wrestling got hot during the Monday Night Wars. What is Jim's opinion on what would have happened? Oh, God. Um, would I have still been alive or would I have had a heart attack at that point? <laughs> um, or by that point? Um, well, our, our gates would have immediately gone up because we had people running independent shows with some of the Smoky Mountain guys three years later in some of the same towns we ran that drew, drew twice what <laughs> what we would draw in those towns just because wrestling was hot. And it was on everybody's mind to go see wrestling. <clears throat> um, the the TV would have not gotten any cheaper. Uh, as far as TV airtime, the production would have not been that much different, but airtime wasn't getting any cheaper. So it was still would have been a, 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 a project. And if we didn't work with one of the bigger companies, then we would lose a lot of our talent and not be able to get any back. But since we had the relationship already with WWF, we would have been able to circulate talent and we would have been able to get big names. So we wouldn't have had a talent problem. So yeah, we would have, if we'd have hung on till somewhere early in 97 ish, then we would have had a nice little four year run where we probably all made some money until after 2001, probably everything would have still fallen to shit because that's when everything cooled off and, and you know, it, the same thing would have happened again. So it would have it would have given us an extra uh, 10 years, but uh, by then I may not have been still alive. If you had held on, that obviously changes the timeline for you going to work full time in Connecticut. How if well yeah it, it would have changed it I would never have done that you never would because, have done that yeah because by then different people would have been in place that I that would not have offered me the job probably nor may I have wanted to go at that point but if you had continued and or had to go or had to go at that point but if you had continued and been able to ride the wave that picked up all of wrestling throughout the later half of the nineties how do you think your relationship with Vince in the office would have changed if at all. You know, gosh, it's it's hard to tell because I would not have – I would have expanded the area, but it, it wouldn't have been anything that Vince would have cared about. If I could have got TV in Asheville, North Carolina, and Greenville, South Carolina, and, uh, you know, one day Charlotte, if we were doing real good, but that was a nut that was way too expensive to crack at that point. Uh, but it, it, maybe Lexington, Kentucky, or Chattanooga, Tennessee, or Charleston, West Virginia, that's as far as we would have gone. And so if he didn't have any problem with the concept of either sending me guys to work in my towns in the territory I had or taking talent from me to give them shots at the big time after they'd been loyal to me and finished up in the proper way and et cetera, et cetera, if I had three or four or five more TV markets and you know regular monthly towns, it wouldn't have changed anything. So – and and, and – and truthfully, as long as they didn't change anything, I would have changed anything, except if they didn't want to, at some point, if they didn't want to use me on camera as a manager anymore, but especially if Smoky Mountain Wrestling was doing better, I would have, thank you, and I wouldn't have gone had to go to their fucking TVs and make that money that I was using to keep Smoky Mountain floating. I would have been making it in Smoky Mountain and not had to work the WWF as a performer. <laughs> 